Hi, my name is Dakota Grant. This is the HP Steam System. So we start off in the A-list boiler where we have a pressure transmitter, a temperature transmitter, and a level transmitter. It also has a safety valve that is set to 125 PSI. It leaves, goes through a non-return valve, goes past a flow transmitter, back to the header. Heads this way, goes to a motor operated valve before going down into TG1 where there is a flow transmitter. It also goes the other way, it's vented to atmosphere. There's a splitter on the header, goes down through a flow transmitter to the dyno. It goes down to the steam driven pumps and it goes down to TG2. TG1, sorry, and then it goes back to the HP, the LP letdown. Hi, my name is Dakota Grant. Um, I'm student number three for this assignment. We're going to start with the LP scheme. So the LP scheme comes in off the header from the HP scheme. Um, it drops down from 100 psi to 15 psi. It also comes in off the TG2, back to the header here. We flow over here to the Navy Utilities. Uh, it goes through a pressure control valve and has a safety valve on this line before it heads out. We also have another safety valve on the main header that's set to 20 PSI. So down here, it's vented to atmosphere. We've got our header splitter. Then we go up to another safety valve that's set to 20 PSI. It's vented again on the other side of the splitter. Now it branches off here and comes up. We have a branch that goes into the condenser. It also goes off over into the HVAC. Uh, steam can come up and be regulated again before it heads over to the DA. Uh, we have steam coming into the header from the Dupree, we have steam coming into the header from the steam driven pumps, and we have steam coming in from TG1, 